Apple announced three new iPhones this month, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, and the high-end iPhone 10. Those three phones start at $699, $799, and $999, respectively. It seems likely that most people are waiting for the release of Apple's high-end iPhone 10, which debuts November 3rd. That said, there are several reasons it's worth considering an iPhone 8 instead of holding out for the iPhone 10. 1. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is powered by the same brains as the iPhone 10. This is probably the most important reason to consider the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus over the iPhone 10. Functionally, they're all identical. All of these phones are powered by Apple's new A11 Bionic chip, a neural engine, and the M11 motion coprocessor. The only difference is how the phones use these features. The iPhone 10 uses the A11 chip and neural engine for its new face detection system Face ID, which the iPhone 8 does not have. 2. Touch ID is a proven entity. Face ID is not. Ever since the release of iPhone 5S in 2013, Touch ID has changed the way we use our phones, from unlocking the device to storing passwords to using our fingerprints to pay for goods via Apple Pay. Touch ID is a known, proven entity. Face ID, which will replace Touch ID on the iPhone 10, is less known. Apple makes some bold statements about Face ID. The company claims it's less prone to being tricked than Touch ID. They claim it can also work in the dark, or recognize changes to your face, like if you grow a beard, or wear glasses, or change your hair, or put on a kooky outfit. But we still don't know how Face ID will actually work in the wild when millions of people are using it. Simply put, technology is not infallible, and it's impossible to predict what could go wrong with this unlocking method. By choosing an iPhone 8, however, you choose to forego the guinea pig era for Face ID. 3. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus support fast charging and wireless charging for the first time, just like the iPhone 10. All of these phones support the Qi wireless charging standard as well as fast charging. Apple offers several different Qi wirelesses charging pads you can buy and you'll need to buy anywhere from $25 to $75 worth of equipment if you want to use fast charging for your iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or iPhone 10. Again. This is one more expense to consider when thinking about the iPhone 8 versus the $1,000 to start iPhone 10. 4. The iPhone 10 is more expensive than the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 starts at $700, while the larger iPhone 8 Plus starts at $800. The iPhone 10, on the other hand, starts at $1,000. The iPhone 8 starts at $700, while the larger iPhone 8 Plus starts at $800. The iPhone 10 on the other hand, starts at $1,000. It's simple math, you can save at least $200 by going with an iPhone 8, which, keep in mind, is still a brand new phone from Apple. You have the info, you make the call now. Thank you for watching. YouTube Marketing